So air fryers, let's talk air fryers first of all. So many people I feel like got air fryers over the holidays. Yes. And a lot of people don't know what you can do with them. So I'm here to show you some really simple and easy and delicious recipes. Nice. And everything is made with Pillsbury. So oh, I love great. that even more. Okay, delicious. Yeah. Ooh, what we got? All right, so first let's start over here. So okay. we're gonna start, this recipe is really fun because it actually went viral on TikTok recently, okay. okay? And it's using the Pillsbury Grands biscuits and we're gonna make air fryer glazed donuts. Ooh, that's so, And you're cool. making it like right at home, so how exciting is that? Nice. So, and it's super simple. Okay. So we're just gonna take the, you take the biscuits out, right? And then get a little cutter, like a one inch cutter. If you don't have one of these at home, you could use like, you know, like the, the top of a medicine bottle, like of cough medicine that mm -hmm. comes like with a little measuring, you can use that, like a little cup to just do it. So okay. you just stick it right here. Hold the line. Press it. And then you're gonna end up. Oops, I did it. Oh Look, you did better than me. All right, so then pop that out, and then you have a donut and a donut hole. Okay. Uh, so don't toss these, because these oh. are going to become little, also donut delicious nuggets of delicious bites. Okay. So we're going to take these, and then you're just going to we're going to come back to the air fryer. All right. And you're just going to pop them in. So go ahead, put it right in there. Put it in this there. is it's going to be about 370. Everybody's air fryer is different, so be sure to check your manual. But these are going in at 370 degrees. Okay. Okay. They're going to go in for about five to six minutes, or until they're golden brown. And then you're gonna flip them over, let them bake a little bit longer. And then when you pull them out, they're gonna be oh, just so like this. Good on already. TV. Okay, so we're gonna come over here. Yes. And then my favorite part, the glaze. Mm -hmm. So this is just a little bit of powdered sugar, some milk and vanilla, all right? And we're gonna just take a donut, so feel free. Oh, I'll grab take one. the donut. Uh -huh. And then you just go ahead and dip it in the top, right there in your oh. glaze. So all I have to do is just put that in there and then do this. And this seems like it's quick, is it quick? Oh, it's so quick. I mean, that, it's basically that, uh, minus the time it took to fry. I don't know. I guess I'm messing up. And then up. if you want, you can add sprinkles. Oh I don't know God. if you like sprinkles. You could add like cinnamon and sugar if you like, whatever you want. It's fun with kids. Yes. And then we can taste I would look like I'm doing something for the kids. <laughs> Even the kids don't let me in the kitchen, okay? okay. <laughs> well, you can with all, the best thing about all these recipes and everything from Pillsbury, they just make it so simple to this make yummy so treats. Good. They take all the hard part out of it. Okay. And then you're just left with the deliciousness. Okay. Can I taste it? You want to try it? Yeah. I sure do. Hold on. Mmm. Oh, it's so oh good. Did y'all? Yeah, I ain't want nothing, did you? <laughs> it's so good. Oh my God. All right. You want one? I'm gonna get you They're a good fresh really Pillsbury donut. Try it at home for sure. Okay. 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 And then next, what we have here, these are actually, so you can do so much with Pillsbury products, right? So we used the Grand's Biscuits for this. Next, we're gonna start using the Pillsbury Crescent Rolls. Who doesn't love a Pillsbury Crescent Roll, right? right. They're so good just on their own. Yes. But. You can do so much more with them, and especially with the air fryer. So we actually made you guys, this is crazy, nachos, okay? Nachos? So right here, yes, I'm talking about nachos. So this oh is my God. air fryer Greek crescent nachos, okay? These are so easy. You just cut the like crescent dough into three triangles or however many, pop them in your air fryer for like two to four minutes. They come out nice and crispy and golden brown. And then for these, we did, you know, a little tzatziki sauce spread over the top. You could use this as a dip on the side. Add some tomatoes, cucumber, feta cheese, whatever you like. Wow. And oh, yeah. my God. So fun. And you could do whatever kind of toppings you want. If you want to make classic nachos, if you want to do, like, a sweet, like, maybe a cinnamon sugar sprinkled on top. Mm. Whatever you want to do there. Come on, Pillsbury. Okay. So that's that. <laughs> and then even more with the crescent rolls. I know, right? So mm -hmm. this is super fun. This is a, my kid's favorite. They love to get in the kitchen and make this with me at home. So maybe David and his friends, when they come okay. over, you guys could do this. So it's with a crescent roll, and it's only three ingredients. So you take the little crescent rolls out, and they're gonna come, the crescent rolls come like this, you unroll the dough, I'm sure you guys are familiar. It's gonna be kind of in like two triangles and a rectangle. So we're gonna wanna keep the rectangle shape, but pull them apart a little bit like this. Okay. You're doing great. Am I doing okay? Your nails are fantastic. Hold the line. Wait. I'm and then not... you're gonna, yep, just pull them apart, yeah. And then, because we're gonna kind of overlap them, because we wanna, it's, it seems weird, but we're gonna take them apart to seal it back together. Take so it you... apart to seal it yep. back together. Okay. So there, and then you have like, and it doesn't have to be perfect, but just make sure that seal is good. Yeah, that looks great. Okay, so now we're gonna add our ingredients. So we're gonna do, we have a little black bean corn salsa. Mm, so if you just wanna do a little dab just of that. Yep, go ahead, just right just in the middle there. Just it. That's it. Like that, Melanie. Yep, like right in the middle, perfect. Yep. Should I put more? A little bit more. You can do probably about like three tablespoons of the mixture is a good amount if you're doing it at home. I and look like I know what add, I'm doing, don't I? You look like you know what you're doing. And you want me to add the cheese for you? Then you okay. just add a little cheese on top. Great, and then, yeah, perfect. Let me just do mine quick here so I can show you. And you're gonna leave kind of like a border along the sides, right here, like a half an inch, because what we're gonna do now is we're gonna flip it over itself and to make air fryer crescent quesadilla pockets, okay? So air fryer crescent quesadilla pockets, mm -hmm. super simple. So you're gonna take it, once you get to this point, okay. we're gonna flip it over the top. Oh, Lord. Okay. okay. Just right in half, you can't go wrong. There you go. Like that? Yep, just like that. And then you're gonna take a fork, and we're gonna seal it up on the sides, okay? 
And a tip here is to use mm. a chunkier salsa, so then when you put it in the air fryer, it's not gonna like seep out, even if you know you don't get it perfectly. I like this. But this just seals it all up nice. Sorry, I'm getting in your way. That's good, I like your little, yeah, that's something like that. <laughs> Ish, that looks good. <laughs> Yes, yeah, see okay. how saying, I'm committed. Yep. Yeah, you got it. So then we're gonna take them, so take your little pocket. Okay. And we're gonna take it back here, in our middle air fryer here. And for these, you're actually gonna put a little parchment on the bottom of your air fryer. You got it? You want me to help you? I got it, I got okay, it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Pop it in there. Okay, shut it. These are gonna go at about 325 degrees for like eight to 10 minutes, take a little longer, till golden brown, flip them. Okay. And then they're done. And then we're gonna take them out. Yum. I did that. This is what we have here. And then to serve them, we're just gonna go ahead and maybe I should. We're just gonna take it. Okay. And to serve it, you cut it in half with a knife, right? And you just make a little pocket. There you go, if you wanna take one. Mm. You can top it with a little salsa, a little sour cream. Oh, you put all it on there? Yeah. Whatever your liking is. Go okay. Ahead, Let me get a little salsa. Yep. I like it spicy. You know, I think I should put mustard on everything, no? Okay. Yeah, we should have had the mustard out for you. I know okay. you like mustard. I'm all right, try cheers. This. Cheers. All right, let's do it. Let's try it. This is really good. Yeah, really nice. This yeah. is good. Oh. Mm. All right. So one more. I love that. If you love that, you're gonna love this. So everybody is familiar with like pigs in a blanket, right? You can use Pillsbury crescent rolls for those. So this is a little different take on that. These are actually our air fryer pepperoni pizza crescent rolls. So we just use pizza topping instead of the, the little pig in the blanket. Okay? Mm -hmm. And we're just gonna take like two or three pepperoni slices, right? However oh, many you like. To yeah, if you wanna do it with Wait, me. this? Yep. Okay, I'm back. If you want to add more, if you're a meat person or less, but three is, is a good amount for the size. And then we're just gonna add a little bit of cheese on the top. Sorry, there's one spoon. Thank you. And then we're gonna roll it, starting with the shortest side of the triangle here. You're just gonna roll it up. And it's okay, it gets a little messy. You can just kind of shake the excess, right? Okay? Mm-hmm. So you have a little cute. Okay. Yeah, right? A little okay. pizza roll up, pepperoni pizza roll up. And then we're gonna throw it in the air fryer. Again, you're gonna put a little parchment down for this one. And then make sure you put the tip down, like that you just rolled up, just so it doesn't come out when you're trying to do it. And you can probably fit about 12 in there, depending again on the size of your air fryer. And how long does it take to get done? These just take, they're gonna go in for at about 300 degrees for probably four to five minutes, and then you're gonna wanna flip them and just watch them until they're golden brown and then you know they're done and cooked all the way through. Nice. So they're super quick. Mmm, that sounds good. Yeah, that's Thank it. you, Melanie. I'm telling you, Pillsbury makes it easy. You're gonna make me a great cook. <laughs> I'm gonna get goal. it right. Thank you, Melanie. <laughs> now, you know, I can't just show y'all this good old food without giving y'all a little taste, right? You're all going home with your own fresh baked crescent roll. Come on. Yes, thank you, Melanie. Oh my, this one? This one? Oh my. For even more air fryer recipes, go to Pillsbury.com. We'll be right back. This is up. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.